Hello, my name is Shaw, welcome to my channel, and with the upcoming Pokemon Presents, I figured now is the time to release another prediction video. We did one for the last couple, uh, for the Nintendo Day, I think we did one for the Nintendo Direct. Anyways, that's not relevant. Uh, I'm going to play pretty safe with this one, because uh, I don't think we're going to get anything too, too crazy. There might be something. Uh, I got a feeling we're going to get a game early next year. Uh, but who knows? Uh, could be anything. Um, the obvious thing, we're going to get a release date for at least the Teal Mask. Um, we'll probably get more information about it as well. I have a feeling we're not going to get one for, um, what's the other one? The uh, Indigo Disc. I don't think we'll get a release date for Indigo Disc. Maybe we might get a release date for both. Um, but I just have, I have a feeling that's going to come later. Uh, I think that'll actually end up being like a Twitter drop, probably uh, after the release of the Teal Mask. Um, so yeah, we're going to get a Teal Mask um, release date and more information about that. Probably more information about both. Uh, in doing so, they'll also probably release an event uh, in Scarlet and Violet, uh, like a raid event for something related to the Teal Mask and whatnot. Maybe they'll re redo the Paradox Pokemon again. Um, that'd probably be something new, but just to, just to hype that up. Uh, on top of that, um, we're also likely going to get a deep dive in Detective Pikachu. Since it's uh, coming out in, what, six weeks or so? I think it's coming out soon. Soonish. Uh, so we'll probably get a lot more about that. A more in-depth trailer. Uh, they'll probably talk quite a bit about it. It being their uh, next next big thing, right? Uh, now, Pokemon Sleep released recently. Uh, however, I'm also going to be doing a review video about that coming out in the next couple days. I've been playing it for about a week, so uh, I'm going to drop my thoughts there. Uh, so I think they'll they'll talk briefly about that, maybe announce an event. I'm not sure. I think it might be a little early for an event, but we'll see. Uh, Pokemon Unite Front, uh, I'm going to say they're going to probably release a trailer for Mewtwo Y. He's coming out in a few weeks. Later this month, I believe. Uh, they'll probably also talk about the patch that's coming. Mm, actually, probably not. They will. It'll literally just probably be a trailer for B2Y. And more talk about the anniversary event. Whatever phase two of it will be. Because there's the anniversary event and then there's the mobile anniversary event. So they'll talk about the mobile anniversary event. Uh, I don't know much about Cafe Mix or Masters. Uh, but I imagine we'll get something for both of those. We always do. Uh, so here's here's my big thing. This is what I think is coming for, for sure. And I actually almost made a video about this last month. Because on July 5th, uh, Masuda posted a Twitter uh, talking about the day they started uh, production on Pokemon Red, Red and Green. And that was July 5th which is directly connected to an Easter egg that no one knew about until he posted this post uh, from Gen 1, where in the burnt building, you read the journal about Mew, and Mew was discovered on July 5th. Uh, if anyone knows anything about Pokemon information, and specifically Masuda, it's that when he tweets things, often there's hidden little messages in it. Um, so... With this being a Gen 1 related topic, uh, I believe now is the time that we're going to see the Gen 1 games either coming to NSO or coming available in a bundle for purchase on the Switch. Uh, and also potentially to talk about me saying a late winter release for next year, early next year, first quarter game, like a February game. It's possible we could get another Legends game and maybe it's hinting at a Legends Mew, but I don't, I don't think so. Uh, there's a lot of rumors about Gen 5 being the next thing, something related to Gen 5. I'd be pretty excited about that. I would love to go back to Kanto in some fashion, but I also really like Unova. So, Unova? No, no, it's not Unova. Oh, uh, Sinnoh? Yeah, I don't I, I can't remember what the regions are. No, yeah, Unova. I was right the first time. It was Unova. But yeah, um, really like those generations. You know, maybe we'll get like a Maybe they'll do a yin yang thing because of their ops. So they'll be like yin white, yang black. Probably not, but 
I don't know what their naming convention for it will be. There's rumors that it's not going to be a remake. There's going to be a, it's going to be a sequel, but I don't know. I don't feed too much into rumors. I just uh, try to look at their patterns and predict crazy things they're going to do. Uh, I still think we're going to get the GameCube games at some point. Uh, whether that'll be way in the future when they decide to, with the next console, maybe add GameCube to their online service. But uh, it definitely feels like they're really pushing a lot of GameCube games. Because, um, like, not just Metroid. Because, uh, like, what, Metroid Prime? Yeah, that's a whole other topic, though. But, yeah, I definitely think the GameCube games are going to come at some point, but I don't think we're going to hear that here. It'd be cool if we did. Um, so, am I missing anything? Uh, like I said, I'm, probably, I'm playing it pretty safe with this one. I don't think we're going to get any too much crazy information. I think there'll be one, one big thing. And uh, it might even be the NSO thing. Oh, um, another safe bet is probably Trading Card Game for the Game Boy. If we don't get the Pokemon ones, we'll either get Trading Card Game or Stadium 2. Because uh, the Stadium 2 hasn't come out yet, and they said the Pokemon Trading Card Game will be coming out soon. So um, we'll probably get either a release date or a stealth drop for one or both of those games. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess another possible... February game would be maybe another mystery dungeon. There's a lot of buzz about that too. But yeah, so that, that's my predictions. A lot of safe stuff and a mystery February game that could be of anything possible. All right, well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, feel free to drop a like, subscribe, comment below. And as always, have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.